Hello, this is Bruce from TechBridge.com. In this video, we will see how to create a simple SharePoint Designer 2013 workflow in which approval is selected dynamically from another list. To understand this, let's take an example. Suppose we have to implement this approval hierarchy in a document library. If user 1 creates any document, then it must be approved by manager 1. Similarly, if manager 1 creates any document, then it must be approved by administrator. So we will implement this thing in document library. I have created a custom SharePoint list to define the approvers. This is the list which defines the approver. Here you can see there are two columns. One is editor which defines the username and second one is approver which defines the approver for the particular user. Manager is the approver for user 1 and user 2 and administrator is the approver for manager 1 and manager 2. Let's start to create a workflow for this document library. So for this one, workflow settings, create a workflow in SharePoint Designer, click allow, give the name, approval workflow, SharePoint Designer, click OK. It will open the SharePoint Designer. OK, so start typing. It will set default workflow status to padding. Now let's add an action set workflow variable. So create a new variable. Approval type string. Click OK. And value function. Select approver info field approver the login name look up list editor current item created by click OK. Basically, we will get login name for the approver from the approval info custom list for the person who has created this item. Click on OK button. Click Yes. Now select an action, start a task process for this user, click on user, participants, click workflow, add. Click workflow variables and parameters. We have approver as a string. Click OK. Click OK. Task title. Request for approval. created by display ok ok now add a condition if output equals approve then set workflow status approve click on else branch else
rejected now transition to the state action go to state end of workflow now save it now workflow settings make sure start workflow automatically when an item is created is checked publish it Now refreshing this document library. Here you can see approval workflow column is added. Let's add a filter criteria to display the task of the current user only, so that user can see their task only. To add a filter criteria on the task list, open list ribbon, click on list settings. Click on our task. In filter criteria, show items only. Here, assign to is equal to me. Click on OK button. Now this view will display the task for the current user only. Here you can see I am logged in with user1. Now I am uploading a document. Now DJ my dog click OK. Okay, so this document. Now let's refresh the browser. Here you can see the approval workflow status is pending, which we defined in the workflow. Now let's log in with the manager one. This is manager one login. Let's open workflow task. Here we will see that one task or manager one. Let's open it. So here we see request for document approved by user one, and this is the document. So to approve and reject, let's click on edit item. Here you can edit the information for the task. To approve the task, click on approve button. Now you can see that this task is marked completed. For demo purpose, I am using multiple browsers with different login. Let's check document library with user one. For user one, you can see in the document library the approval workflow status is approved, which one is expected. So everything is working fine as defined in the workflow. Similarly, if a manager one creates any document, then a task is assigned to administrator, and administrator will approve or reject the document. So we have implemented a very simple workflow in which approval is selected dynamically from another list. Thanks.